In this video, we'll balance the equation for PbNO32 plus K2CO3. That's lead to nitrate plus potassium carbonate. Let's count the atoms up. Pb, we have one of those. And then this NO3, it's the nitrate, a polyatomic ion. It stays together in the reaction. We have it here and we have it here. So we can just count it as one item. We have the one nitrate, the one NO3, times the two. That gives us two nitrates. Then for potassium, we have two of those. And then CO3, that's a carbonate, another polyatomic ion. It's here and it's here. So we're going to count it as one item. We have one here on the product side. We have one lead atom, one nitrate group, one potassium, and then one carbonate ion. Looks like all we need to do is we have one nitrate here, two here, one potassium here, two here, coefficient of two in front of the KNO3. It applies to everything. So one times two for the potassium, that'll give us two of those. Those are balanced. And the nitrate, one times the two, two nitrates, those are balanced, and we're done. So you can see the utility of counting this polyatomic ion here, since it appears here and stays together. It's over here again. Or the carbonate, we have one here, and again, we have a carbonate here. Just counting those as one thing makes balancing a lot easier. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for PbNO32 plus K2CO3. Thanks for watching.